I'm Brian Madison with DeerHunterFan.com TV and welcome to this week's show. Today is October 17th and it was a very cold morning this morning, coldest morning we've had of the season. 28 degrees when I left the truck and believe it or not I didn't see a single deer. I did get in the stand um, and you'll see this week that I, I put my climber down below the acorn stand and been hunting between those two stands and a couple hunts on the north food plot as well. And jump in and show you what's been going on there. Monday morning hunt. See two deer, one at very first light. Not even light enough to film them. Pretty sure it was a buck. Went by about 35 yards. Down below me. Grunted at him, he kind of circled back and then went straight down the hill away from me. And then I saw a doe. So after this morning's hunt, I'm going to check trail cams and decide where I'm going to sit tonight if I'm going to take my climber down, down to the hillside. Where I found that scrape over the weekend, put antler ice in it, put a camera up on it. I'm also going to check the food plot cams just to, just to make sure I shouldn't be sitting in one of those tonight. So. It's been so warm the last few days. Just brutal. Supposed to really start cooling down this Friday. I can't wait. Hopefully that cooler weather comes in and stays. So Josh got a shot at this coyote. He just decided to take the shot with his with cam on his bow and bummer that he missed it. Always like to get a coyote on the ground if you ever get the chance to. Okay, all set on the food plot stand. The north food plot. This is where the eight point came out. Two Sundays ago. It's Tuesday. It's warm. It is gonna cool down about 10 degrees by sundown. So.
this doe busted me in the north food plot. She's this is the same group of doe that I, I shot took a shot at and missed when Paige was with me on October second. And uh, these does are going to be a problem. Now, anytime they come to that food plot, that lead doe is going to march over that tree stand. So I do not plan on hunting the north food plot again until that doe is gone. <laughs> or something changes or give it a nice break. Either way, um, I've been hunting back in the woods. Keep an eye out for that group of doe. If that group of five doe come through, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to pick her out. and I'm going to fill a doe tag on that doe because she's just going to bust that stand every time she comes there but uh, after that I, I as I said I went back in the acorn stand and on the hillside of my climber well, it's Wednesday October 14th another after work afternoon set walking through the backyard into the woods now so we'll get up to the stand sit till dark and see what happens Seems like it's a real nice evening. Wind died down quite a bit. So we'll see what happens. So it's Saturday morning, as I said, and uh, this morning I went on the hillside, and when I climbed up the tree and it got daylight out, I saw both scrapes have been worked. The scrapes that I put antler ice, buck urine in, and put a trail cam on. Check the trail cam, and last night, Dagger, the eight point, was there working those scrapes, right at 7, 7 p.m. I just decided on a name for that eight point. I'm gonna name him Dagger. Remembrance of the dagger that was killed last year on a neighboring property of JJ's. Dagger was a buck he hunted for a long time, and all he ever wanted to do was yell, I just shot Dagger. I just shot. Well, it's November 16th, hunting here in New York, rifle opener. I put a buck on the ground. I swore it was dagger. And have it actually be dagger. So I'm gonna name that eight point dagger so that if I shoot him, then I did shoot dagger. I'm not mistaking him for a different buck. I didn't hunt that stand because <clears throat> the way the wind was, it was right borderline if any deer coming down that trail would catch my wind or not so I decided to stay out of there and I'm going with it's a good thing I did because seven o'clock I would have probably been halfway down my tree and that deer would have bust I would have blown up busting that deer out of there whether I knew it or not so it's a good thing I didn't hunt hunting that tree last night but it's a good reassurance that I need to start hunting that stand in the evening I have not hunted there in the evening yet out of that tree I did one hunt there but it wasn't out of that tree so 
game plan moving forward is probably evening hunts to head there. So that's going to do it for this week. I'm Brian Madison with Deer and Fan on Com TV. I'll see you next time.